Missed my timing. Kind of like that. So that's like, like a kill. Neutral into command grab. As you can see right there. Yeah. What's up, gamers? So today we're here with a Samurai Jack beginner guide. So I know a lot of people out there wondering if Samurai Jack's good. That's kind of like the number one question. Is he good? Is he broken? Is he busted? Is he worth it? I mean, if you plan on getting the battle pass, you're going to get him for free. Um, But all around, is he top tier? Is he S tier? Is he A tier? Does he need to be nerfed? And things like that. Um, My first impressions with playing him when he first released on the... Um, for like playing him for maybe about three hours. Um, He... I did not have good impressions of him. Uh, first, first time playing him, you don't kind of, you, you kind of feel like you're lacking compared to the other high tier characters because he doesn't have any crazy combos or any crazy like setup situations or anything like that. Uh, and then it can be really hard for Samurai Jack to kill at times. His moves have a lot of range. I mean, he's a sword character. His jab is just crazy with how much range it has. It's just about as long as his sword swings. So he has a lot of big hit boxes. But it can be pretty hard for him to get kills at times. Until uh, I saw one of Void's videos. And Void showed like a kill setup. Which kind of like makes his gameplay a little bit more consistent. Because you don't have to worry about getting like hard reads. Or going for like crazy edge guard situations at higher percentages to get kills. But I was just kind of like I wanted to do an explanation breakdown. Uh, what I think about Jack. Like I say right now. I don't think he's like super high tier. I think he's good for what he does. Uh, he kind of reminds me of Jason. Just not as bad as Jason. He, he's not as bad as Jason, but he does remind me of Jason where like Jason has like a lot of hard hitting moves, but he doesn't have any crazy combos and he has a lot of range. But like I say, he doesn't have crazy combos and he gets comboed really easy. Samurai Jack is pretty tall. Like even though he's like the size of Shaggy, uh, his hurt box is pretty huge. So you get comboed a lot too. So you got to watch out for those. You have to play really safe sometimes and you can't play super aggressive. But that's kind of like my explanation of what I think about him. Like, I do think he's good. Just don't think he's, like, S tier or A tier. I will probably give him, like, low B. Uh, simply because of the range of his sword. That's, that's kind of what holds him together. Uh, but let's just kind of hop into, like, the description of Jack. And like I always do with all the other characters, I start off talking about their passives. So Samurai Jack actually has three passives, which I think is pretty crazy. Um, but his first passive is Mark of the Samurai. This one you will not see in singles. So if you are a 1v1s player, you will not see this passive. But what this passive does is after Jack hits an opponent, for a while, if their teammate hits them after Jack, it applies weaken. So it basically makes it easier for Jack and his teammate to kill opponents. That's why... Um, Perks that apply weakened are really, really good with Jack, especially in 2v2s. So, like, say, like, Jack hits 100%, uh, you apply a stack of weakened, and then just for hitting your opponent, your teammate hits an opponent, they apply another stack of weakened, and then let's just say your opponent's over 125, so you have press the advantage, so you stack another weakened. That's three stacks of weakened already just from, like, you and your teammate hitting an opponent and Jack being above 100. So Jack is uh, pretty good in twos, especially, like, with his long range and this Mark of the Samurai uh, passive. Mental Focus is Jack's second passive, and basically every time Jack hits an opponent, the meter... It fills up and as you can see every time I hit Shaggy this meter fills up. This is basically Samurai Jack's focus meter And as you continue to hit opponents, it will continue to fill up and then once it goes to max It basically gives him enhanced special moves for all of his specials So it's basically if anyone's played smash it's basically kind of like clouds limit As you can see right there you get the enhanced special and the enhanced specials all apply stats of weaken when they hit so that'll do it for his second passive. And his third and final passive is Calm Your Mind. So how I said when Jack hits opponents, that bar builds up at the bottom, basically like the limit meter. If like a, I call it limit, but on like the limit meter. And if you crouch with Jack, he calms his mind and takes the meter and turns it into gray health. So that's another really good thing for Jack. Uh, like basically if you kill your opponent and you're waiting on them to come back, you could basically like calm your mind get like a stack of gray health that's if you really want to uh that passive doesn't really come into play a lot for me but it is really good if you get the chance so that'll do it for all of jack's passives let's go into his grounded a well grounded attacks so i want to talk about samurai jack's grounded jab or basically his forward attack samurai jack's jab is really crazy 
uh, because of the range, not because of like the crazy combos you can get out of it, but because of the range, everyone knows if your character has a good jab in multiverses and they get crazy combos out of it, your character is going to be good. Um, some really good examples are like Harley, uh, Batman, Agent Smith, like those high tier characters get a lot of things out of their jabs. Uh, Black Adam, just the good characters get crazy situations from their jabs. And the thing is, is Jack doesn't really get any like really crazy or ridiculous situations from his jab. Uh, the most consistent thing you get from jab is one, two, into down attack. That one's pretty consistent. But if you're fighting opponents that really know how to play, you can assume that they're going to be DI'ing away. Uh, dodge away after hit stun. So Shaggy set to DI away. So basically, you can see the jab to down attack still works on outwards DI, but the uh, combo that you saw in the trailer, the jab into up attack, that does not work. And it's really sad because up attack knocks at a very good angle for like follow-ups and things like that, but it just doesn't work out of jab. So you can't consistently go for jab into up attack because if your opponent is holding away, they could just DI away from it, and it's not true. So that's kind of like a sad part about Jack, uh, the fact that his uh, you can't really go jab into up attack automatically automatically to get those combos and follow-ups. Uh, but one of the things about Jack to note is at higher percentages, not higher percentages, I'm sorry, but when your opponent is burned out, a lot of these confirms do work because your opponent's burned out and they can't really dodge it. So that's the thing about Samurai Jack. You basically kind of like poke your opponent, put them in disadvantage and make them burn their meter so that they can't dodge out of a lot of the situations that uh, Samurai Jack does have. So he's a very like passive kind of uh, character. Uh, basically make your opponents burn their meter. But like out of side attack, you can get things like side attack one, two into down attack. Like I said, you can do just the full on side attack, which is... It's a three hit, like that, the full on side attack, and that also has a lot of range. Uh, his side attack basically sets up for like really good situations to where opponents have to get back past his sword to come back to the stage. So that'll be like one of the main things with his side attack. Uh, one of the things I do want to show off with Jack is if you want to master Jack, you're going to have to learn how to instant air dash. And basically instant air dash is if you're holding up in a diagonal direction on your controller, and you dodge you'll basically dodge forward in an upwards motion and you'll get an aerial and it takes a lot of meter so it's not something you could basically spam but combining instant air dash with jack's dab uh jab you can do things like one two oops didn't get my dash but one two gosh one two dodge into up air dodge into up air kind of like that or you can even do things like one two dodge into command grab at higher percentages so that's uh kind of one of the things you want to remember and the reason being is because one of jack's best kill confirms because he doesn't have a lot of kill confirms um actually since playing him i've only been able to find out one and that's because i saw void do it at 100 like past 100 percent uh at lighter characters it'll work around 90 uh, Shaggy's medium weight, so he may need to be at 100. At 100%, you can basically go jab, jab, instant air dash into his neutral, into his neutral attack in the sky, which is basically the command grab. And the command grab has ridiculous launch, so it'll look kind of like this. My power is ready. Miss my timing. Kind of like that. So that's like a kill confirm he has at higher percentages and he gets it from jab and his jab is really long as you can see like from about here it hit shaggy so his jab, his jab is really really good um just note at those higher percentages you can go jab jab into instant air dash command grab so i definitely recommend learning how to instant air dash uh, if you're trying to figure out how to do it, there's some really good multiverse players that have videos on it. Uh, I watch a lot of Void's videos, and Void breaks it down really, really well. But Instant Air Dash out of Jab works a lot with what Jack has. Allowing you to get some pretty crazy extensions and, like, some different extensions. Uh, but you'll mainly be going for Jab into Down Attack just for the positioning. Another thing to note is that lower percentages... Down attack causes a ground bounce. So you can do things like jab, down attack, 
into like another jab reset because of the ground bounce that it causes. So just kind of like remember that for Jack for Jack's jab, um, you'll basically like I always say be going for down attack, and at lower percentages like at zero it causes the ground bounce. But you'll basically be doing this for oops that was dash attack. But you'll basically be doing jab into down attack for the position that it sends because it knocks opponents like very vertical pretty low. Another thing to note is jab to limit cross slash is another true confirm that you can get whether your opponents are DIing out or they're DIing in simply because Jack's fully charged limit cross slash comes out instantly it's a lot faster than his normal cross slash so you can't normally do one two into cross slash because Shaggy can dodge out the way but when you have the full focus meter and your meter is fully fo uh is full the focus cross slash 100% combos and it gives you some pretty early kills on the edge of the stage so if I build up the meter you'll see I can go one two as I miss my timing but you can basically go one two into limit cross slash kind of like that at higher percentages and near the edge of the stage for like kill confirms it just works with limit well, focus cross slash uh, because the focus slash comes out a lot faster than the normal so that'll do it for Jack's side attack I really want to talk about that because you'll see a lot of Jack spam this a lot of people actually don't like this jab because it's really really good it just doesn't like consistently give you kills or any crazy combos off of it uh, it's very DI dependent you have to notice uh, which way your opponent's DIing and things like that for you to get like the crazy follow-ups and confirms so that'll do it for side attack let's talk about Jack's grounded neutral attack so Jack's grounded neutral attack is actually a counter and after the counter is over he throws out an elbow as you can see so this counter when hit he basically counters opponents he hits them I recommend the perk that allows him to teleport to opponents uh, that's very good for the counter but normally opponents will hit them and he would counter and knock them in the direction that you're holding so that's the direction that his counter knocks if you counter and hold a direction that's the way he'll knock them and if your opponent doesn't hit the counter they get hit by this elbow here this elbow has a lot of hit stun it's a really really good move to like get confirms and stuff off of basically because it's so slow so like if you're going to get like a read on your opponent and like they dodge roll in so you kind of like do something like and you know they're going to dodge back into you you can basically set up the counter and get things like that like you can do elbow it's a side special you can do elbow it's a down special i mean you can even do like elbow it's a jump command grab like it has a lot of hit stun elbow it's a jump four there uh elbow it's an up attack basically anything in jack's kit it's really good you can even do things like elbow into like up special or elbow into like limit well i won't say limit cross slash because the elbow takes away his limit meter if he's in full focus but like you can do elbow into up special kind of like that for like chase situations you can do basically elbow into just about anything you can even do like elbow into jump oops that was down attack but i was gonna say you can do elbow into like elbow to jump down air because it has so much hit stun this move has crazy hit stun like ridiculous amounts of hit stun if you hit this move you can do just about anything you want and like even with the cross slash because his cross slash which is down special can be charged you can even put a little bit of charge on it kind of like that to get more damage uh so that'll do it for the elbow like i said it's a really good hard read move because it has so much hit stun and you can add charge to your follow-up moves and like i said you can even go into like aerials kind of like that you can even do like elbow into neutral air into up air things like like Hitting elbow is really, really good, and like even at those higher percentages, it kind of like gives you a kill confirm with like elbow into the down special. Very, very good. Or even elbow into the command grab because this command grab has a lot of range, like not a lot of range, but a lot of knockback. Very, very good command grab, actually. Surprised they gave a sword character like a command grab, but it's understandable this game doesn't really have blocks. So it's definitely, I can definitely see why it works. But this elbow is very, very good for just about any confirm that you want to go for. And like I say, the initial startup when he has the armor is also a counter. 
So that'll do it for his neutral attack. Let's talk about Jack's down attack. So Jack's down attack is a thrust downwards with the sword. It knocks at a vertical angle, as you can see. It can also be charged. It's also at higher percentages. Wait, I think I might actually kill. But I have to say, at higher percentages, it's a pretty good kill move. Uh, it's always really good to use out of jab when you're on stage. But when your opponents are like kind of hanging off stage and they're kind of like fading back, you might miss this down attack if you go for it because they're kind of off stage. So you kind of like have to go for the full uh, side attack. But down attack is just basically always good to use out of jab too for like that good stage position and kind of like that. Very, very uh, good to use out of side attack. Just going for side attack one, two, into down attack. That's basically what you will mainly be using down attack for. Another thing about down attack is that it does hit really far off stage because it kind of like stabs the sword into the ground. So it does hit really, really low like that, as you can see, to like catch opponents that are like hanging on the wall and stuff like that. So that's down attack. Let's talk about up attack. Up attack is a double swing upwards at lower percentages. It knocks downwards to the ground. And I believe it even knocks downwards like at medium percentages. So you can do things like up attack into side special because the up attack will kind of ground bounce. I recommend using this like on the edge of the stage when you're hitting your opponents, uh, mainly because on DIN, the up attack works out of jab all the time when your opponent's DIN in. Most people don't DI out when they're on the edge of the stage because they're trying to get back to the edge, uh, get back to the stage. Uh, if you realize your opponent's di in, you could definitely go jab into up attack. But like I say, a lot of people who really know, uh, like a lot of people who really understand the mechanics of the game, a lot of them di out automatically as soon as they get hit by Jack's first jab because it's so long, it's reactable. So you'd have to do things like jab one into up attack if you're trying to like catch somebody off guard. But up attack is basically a very good jump read because it hits really, really high up. And it has really, really good base knockback for like netting KOs off the side. So like if you know your opponents are like gonna jump and try and get past you, you can kind of use up attack. It has really, really good range. Like it hits from pretty far distance. Let's see. As you can see, so it hits from pretty far distance, not as far as it's jab, but it does cover a lot of area. Like I said, it's a very good anti-air. You can charge it for like, getting kills at higher percentages. Very, very good. If you know your opponent's gonna like jump in or try and jump past you, you can definitely use like up attack to like basically edge guard them and stop them from jumping past you. Very, very good anti-air. And like I say, you'll mainly be using this if your opponent is di in, you can get things like jab one, two into up attack. But if you realize your opponent's di out, you'll wanna go jab one, two into down attack just for like the stage positioning. So, that'll do it for Jack's grounded moves. Oh, wait. Let me talk about dash attack. So, Jack's dash attack is basically a lunging kick. Uh, pretty plain and simple. Straightforward. Has really, really good knockback. So, very good at netting KOs. Like, um, at higher percentages. At lower percentages. Like, at zero, you can hit opponents with it. And it knocks them pretty low. and kind of causes ground bounces. But, that'll do it. It's basically just kind of like a lunge. It lingers for a while. But, it does hit really hard. And it does allow you to get kills at higher percentages. So that'll do it for Jack's grounded A moves, like grounded attacks. Let's go into Jack's grounded, I mean not grounded, I was going to say grounded aerials. Let's go into Jack's aerials. So Jack's aerials are pretty good because a lot of them have some good, really, really good range like above him and below him. So let's just start off with Jack's neutral attack. So Jack's neutral attack is a sortie spin. Oh, wait, before we go into the aerials, I just realized I was, I said grounded neutral attack is the counter. This is actually grounded special. Jet's grounded neutral attack is a sword stab. And a sword stab can be charged, and if you charge it, it turns into a big slash. This big slash actually has some really good range and some really, really good knockout power. You just kind of like hold it, and the hitbox on it is really crazy. Another thing about this is the bug that jumps out is also a hitbox too so it's kind of like a two hitting move and basically like you just kind of use this for a hard read if you feel like your opponent's gonna like try and come back on the stage you can hold it and as you can see if you release it before the fully charge you get a stab which is really hard for opponents to punish this stab is really really good just like I say really hard for opponents to punish you can even do it like one two and to stab if your opponent has no dodge meter 
they can't get away from this tab. And like I say, you can fully charge it. Pretty big hitbox. Does KO at higher percentages. And it's actually a very good, like, low percent KO move if you plan on getting a read. So sorry about that. Um, I mistake neutral attack for neutral special. But now let's talk about Samurai Jack's aerials. So Samurai Jack's neutral air is a sword spin. As you can see, kind of looks like bugs. These spinning neutral airs is kind of like the Bane of Multiverses. And you kind of look at it and you're like, oh man, he has the bug neutral air. So it's got to be good, right? Yes and no. So Samurai Jack's uh, neutral air is a very tricky move. It took me a while to realize like why it wasn't really comboing. As you can see, like if you do the neutral air and like an inch off the ground before you land, you can kind of like throw the up air and, and like it combo before. Kind of does combo, kind of doesn't combo. When you land with it, it's kind of hard to like jump into the combos and things like that. So Samurai Jack's neutral air, you kind of have to hit with it in the sky, as you can see. And then it pops up and you can get things like neutral air and the forward air. Because if you land with it, your opponent can dodge out of the way before you can get like a follow-up. So you have to hit with the neutral air in the sky to get those follow-ups. To like get neutral air into up air. Neutral air into like side air. Because like what you want to do is you want to hit with the neutral air. And you want to do throw out your attack before you have to like jump because if you have to jump you're going to be too slow for the follow-up as you can see like this is me trying to jump into forward air and i'm not getting it because i'm too slow like jack's neutral air doesn't like cancel immediately i don't want to do it now because shaggy's out of dodge meter but you have to be very very quick with this neutral air it's really really hard to like get combo situations off of this neutral air but when you do it right you can get things like neutral air to command grab as you can see right there you can get neutral air to up air which is what you'll see a lot you can kind of get neutral air into up attack if you like hit it at the last possible frame but it's really really hard to get confirms from this neutral air it's actually very good for reading opponents dodges so what happened is like when you neutral their opponents, they'll dodge immediately and you can basically catch their dodges with neutral air until you burn out their dodges. And then once you burn out their dodges, then they can't get away from the confirm. Kind of like that. And they just kind of like got to deal with it. At lower percentages, you can get things like neutral air into up attack if you're like, if your opponent's like pretty heavy, kind of like that, it'll be hard for them to dodge it. But neutral air basically be used for like, if you catch your opponents in the sky before you land, you can get those follow-ups. And if you don't, just kind of like wait for like the option that they're going to do to try to get away from you and chase that way. Uh, Samurai Jack is a very big read-based character. So a lot of times when you hit opponents with moves, you're going to be waiting to see what they do after you hit them. But being able to get things like neutral air into command grab and things like that, as you can see, it's very, very good. You just have to hit them above it. And the fact that since you have to hit opponents without landing, that makes it really hard to combo smaller characters with this move. Because smaller characters, you have to drop the neutral air into them. And if you drop the neutral air into them, you probably won't get those confirms because you have to like re-jump. And you're probably not fast enough to cover those dodges. So you will basically want a neutral air, read the dodge, neutral air, read the dodge, neutral air, and like take situations that way. So that'll do it for Jack's Neutral Air. Also, Jack's Neutral Air is a very, very good juggling tool. Uh, if you can get your opponents above you and they don't have any dodge meter, because Jack's entire hitbox becomes uh, Jack's entire body becomes a hitbox. So you can kind of like jump at opponents in the sky in Neutral Air. And if you hit them in the sky with it, like I said, that's when you get those confirms. Kind of like that. And basically keeping them above you in like really, really good juggle situations. So that'll do it for Jack's neutral air. I want to talk about that first because it does look like a combo heavy neutral air, but it's not that easy to combo with. Like I say, you got to hit opponents like while you're above them and like kind of like have them pop up into you and then hopefully get those confirms after that. But you'll do better hitting opponents, waiting to see their option and then punishing their options with neutral air and chasing that way. So that'll do it for Jack's neutral air. Let's talk about Jack's forward air. So Jack's forward air is really good. 
uh, it's basically a charge swing, and you can jump for it, charge back with it. It has a lot of range, just about as much range as this jab. So, like, from here, this jab hits. From here, four there won't hit, but it'll hit from there. And you can float into this. So, you can kind of, like, jump, and before you hit the ground, you can just kind of, like, float into four there. Kind of like that. You can float backwards with it to, like, cover the ledge. You can charge it. And so you can hold it to like punish dodges, which is like what I mean when I say like Jack is like a very, very big like dodge punish character. Uh, and when your opponents are like out of meter, that's when you kind of like really get to go in. The hit four four there is really good because it sets up a sets up at a really good angle. And since Jack has a lot of moves that put him aerial, you can just cover yourself with four there. So you, since up attack leaves him aerial, you can do up attack and cover with four there. Or you can do up attack and lean into four there. A lot of people will dodge in. It's okay if they dodge out. Because dodging out, Samurai Jack wants opponents out in the first place. So if they dodge out, they have to like get back in past your sword. And that's basically what you want to do. You want to keep opponents out with your sword. That's what the four there is for. Don't, you don't want to jump into opponents with four there. You want to do it from like the maximum distance. And just kind of like uh, bait out opponents and swing with four there from the maximum distance. Because max distance, this move is really, really hard to punish. So that'll do it for Jack's four there. Let's talk about Jack's down there. Jack's down there actually has a lot of range. As you can see, if you jump and do it, you can hit tall opponents on the ground. You have to like fall down with it to hit smaller opponents out of down air. I've seen people hit things like up special. Uh, Shaggy might be at too high percentages. But Jack's down air has a lot of range in front of him. It also hits really, really hard. Like this down air is really, really strong. And you also want to sit this like in front of you. You want to aim with the sword. So you're kind of like always with Jack's moves. You're kind of always aiming for like where your opponents are going to be. If you've ever played like a sword character on a platform fighter, you kind of want to envision that you have like a bubble around yourself. And the edge of that bubble is all of Jack's sword moves. And you want to keep your opponents at the edge of that bubble. And you want to throw your attacks at that bubble. Like at the edge of that bubble. Not necessarily into your opponents or at your opponents. You want to keep them on the outside of the bubble. That's genuinely how you play sword characters and like platform fighters. You just kind of like keep them at the edges of your bubble. And throw attacks at your opponents when they're trying to like get into that bubble. This down air also hits like pretty far off stage. So you could do it and fade back. And then cover options. That's another good thing about that down air. So that'll basically do it for Jack's down air. Pretty plain and simple. Nothing crazy. Nothing too wild. Just hits really, really hard. It does kill at higher percentages also. And also, if you hit it low enough to the ground, you could down air into jab. So that's also like a very good situation. So that'll do it for Jack's down air. Let's talk about Jack's up air. Jack's up air is a fast upward swing. You can land on opponents with it. And even though it's a fast upward swing, it starts from in front of him. So I hit Shaggy from in front of me, but it doesn't hit Shaggy behind me. But it'll hit him from in front of me. So it's a very, very fast swing. It doesn't have, like, crazy knockback. As you see, like, Shaggy's at 100, and he barely flies up. But if you combine this move with Jack's up, at, up special, which is the kick, which allows you to chase opponents up just like that. You get basically like good off the top of the uh off the top of the screen kills with up air. Very, very good thing for Jack to have. Uh basically hitting up special into up air, kind of like that. So it's very, very good. If you can uh read like your opponent's like uh option, you can hit an up special and basically go straight into up air off of hitting the up special. Very, very good. Jack's up, like hitting Jack's aerial up special because grounded up special has like a little bit more knockback. But hitting the aerial up special allows for some really good juggle situations. So just remember, like hitting up air is not going to be like one of your main things because it doesn't have enough hit stun for you to like fully juggle with it. Like if you hit an up air, what you're basically going to be doing is like the same thing you do with neutral air. Is waiting to like cover the dodges. So like you hit an up air, they dodge away. You neutral air, they dodge away. And then once they burn their dodges, they can't get away from up air. And it's just kind of like that. So it's basically going to be like a one hit kind of guy. He's not going to be like Harley and like fully chase opponents hitting up air at the up air at the up air. But you're basically going to like wait for opponents to like burn their resources. And then that's when you can really go in when they can't dodge through you. So I think that's about it for all his aerials. Up air. Full air, 
down air, and neutral air. So let's go into Jack Specials, because Jack Specials is like where he actually really, really shines. Jack has some very, very crazy specials. So let's start off with neutral special. So kind of like how I explained at the beginning of the video when I called it neutral attack, neutral special is the counter, and if they don't hit the counter, they get the elbow. And like I said, the elbow gives you some very, very crazy follow-ups and some very, very crazy confirms. So since I've already talked about neutral special, I won't talk about it for too long. Let's talk Let's about aerial neutral special. So Jack's aerial neutral special is a very fast armor breaking command grab. This command grab is absolutely crazy. It's very good. You can pick the, dire the direction you throw your opponents. If you catch somebody off stage with this, they're probably going to die because it has so much launch. And then you can kind of like lean forward with it. So if you grab opponents, you just kind of like hold forward and jack flies forward a little bit. So you get closer and closer to like the blast zone when you grab opponents off stage. This is a very, very good command grab. Very good, very fast. Like you just kind of like grab opponents and put them in a bad situation. Another good thing is like when you're on the edge of the stage, it's very good for like uh, edge guarding on the edge of the stage. Because you can basically grab opponents and if they're trying to like edge guard you, you could jump up and command grab them and throw them backwards off stage. Because like I said, you could pick the direction you throw your opponents. So you can throw them forward. You can throw them backwards. Like it's up to you. You just kind of do the input and then pick the direction that you want to throw them. So that's also very good because it's very good to like change edge guarding situations. If you know you have an opponent who's gonna like try and edge guard you like they're jumping out to like hit you you can immediately just throw out command grab and throw them the opposite direction into the blast zone and his move kills really really early like off stage because you're usually so close to the blast zone when you catch opponents that they just kind of like fly to the blast zone and die uh, another thing to note like i said uh jack's best kill confirm in my opinion is when your opponent is at 100 Being able to burn your meter and do jab, jab, instant air dash, command grab. Like, that's a very, very good thing for Jack to have at those higher percentages because I'm pretty sure if you've been playing him, you've been kind of like wondering like, man, it's kind of hard to get kills without over committing like with like side special or just throwing out side special, which can be punished and things like that. So like when your opponent's at like around 100%, like even from like a quarter of the stage, just being able to hit this, I was too slow. I was too slow again. There we go. Being able to hit jab, jab into command grab. And this works on outwards DI and inwards DI. So this basically like if your opponent is at 100 and you're fast enough. This is a good kill confirm for you to have. So if you plan on playing Samurai Jack, I definitely recommend practicing this. Uh, because being able to hit this at 100 when you need it, like, technically, especially since Jack's jab pushes opponents and then the grab kind of like pushes them to the edge of the stage too, being able to hit this at 100% to get kill confirms is very, very good because your opponents are going to get put up to 100 very easy with Jack because they're going to struggle to get in past the sword. So that'll do it for his aerial command grab. Like I say, I definitely recommend practicing instant air dashing, which is basically you hold up into the corner on your control stick and you dodge. And it basically puts you aerial with the next button that you do. Very, very good. Also to note, Jack's enhanced command grab is really, really strong. So if you have focus and you're able to get jab, jab into command grab, you can get some very, very early kills. So, that'll do it for Jack's aerial command grab. Well, aerial neutral special. Let's talk about Jack's side special. So, Jack's side special is the move everyone hates. Everyone dislikes this move, and this is the, this move is the reason why everyone thinks Samurai Jack is busted. This move goes crazy. It hits really hard, covers a lot of range. I don't even know if it has, like, a sour spot or not. It just feels like this move just always hits really hard so jack's side special when you start it you kind of see a line and it's basically a dash as you can see it's a sword dash you can go forward 
So you can go up. If you're in the sky, you can go down. You can even do this and fade back with how you're aiming. As you can see how I'm aiming downwards and then just kind of like fading back to position myself at the ledge. You can do that. You can do it at a fort. And it covers so much area. It's a very good off the stage like edge guarding move. Because you can knock opponents off stage and then basically go for a side special to like cover their recovery. And it covers so much of a line that they just kind of like struggle getting past it. It's very, very good. And then the knockback on this move is wild. Like being able to hit this move on opponents off stage is absolutely nuts. And like I said, it just covers so much. And then since it leaves Jack Ariel, you can also like edge guard and throw out other moves, even if you miss. So like, as you see, like, even though I didn't hit the side special, I was able to throw out four there afterwards. And the enhanced side special is just three dashes. And what's crazy about that is this move is already crazy with the range that it has. The three dashes has the same range, comes out faster, applies weaken, and it covers the same area you're trying to cover three times instead of one time. So that's the, this move right here is the reason why Samurai Jack gets a lot of kills. At lower percentages, it sets up for like some pretty good grounded situations uh, because of the knockback angle. At higher situations, you can just kind of like aim upwards. As you can see, the three slashes. You can aim upwards to cover like high recoveries. If they don't go high, you can just fall back with full air. I mean, you could jump and do this. I mean, on stage, it's a very good neutral tool because it leaves you aerial. So you can do things like side special and fall with neutral air to like kind of cover yourself. You can do things like side special and fall with down air to cover yourself. It's very, very good. And like I say, you can aim it and go upwards and fall with down air. You can aim it and go upwards and fall with new, uh, not neutral air, but uh, side air to like cover yourself kind of like that. It's a very, very good move. And if you hit the uh, edge of it, it seems like it has more knockback at the edge. You basically like get those kills. Like it's a very, very ridiculous move. Like even if you're chasing like your opponent off stage and you don't happen to like catch them off stage when you're trying to hit them, it's even good at covering the wall because you cover so much space when you go down. You just cover like a very drastic angle and it's really hard for a lot of characters to get past this angle. So that'll do it for Jack's side special. Like I say, very good at like netting kills and stuff off stage. As you can see right there, just kind of like force opponents to like struggle to try to get back past you. Being able to cover that, that range in that area. Just very, very good. If you can get a hard read with this move, you're probably going to get some really early kills. So that'll do it for Jack's side special. Let's talk about Jack's down special. So on the ground is what I call the cross slash, but it's basically a flurry of slashes. As you can see, if you hold it, you do more slashes, as you can see right there. This move has some very, very good KO power, kind of like that. The non-charged version has some pretty good knockback also, and it sends it like a downwards angle. And another thing about this move is the focus version of this move just comes out faster. So that's another thing to remember. The focus version does come out faster. Uh, so that's also very, very good. Let's see if I can get focus. Am I gonna kill? But all right. So the focus version comes out instantly, and it is a more powerful version. It's basically the fully charged version without you having to be fully charged. So that's another thing to remember about Jack's folk, uh, Jack's down special. Very good. It covers a lot of range. As you can see right there, like I'm not even near the edge of the stage. You just kind of sit right here and cover a lot of space with this move. Like this move is really, really crazy. Like you kind of like just throw it out. If your opponents get hit by it, they get knocked back into the blast zone. If they don't get hit by it, since it has so much startup time, it's really hard for opponents to punish it because it has a lot of starter time. So that'll do it for his down special on the ground. I mainly use this move to like edge guard opponents like right here at the edge. Basically just kind of like throw it out because as you can see like when you get done, you can act immediately and like kind of go into something different. So like using it to edge guard opponents because the range on it is really nuts. Like you don't have to be really close. Let me see. It doesn't have as much range as jab.
There we go. You just kind of like cover a lot of area, and it's really hard for your opponents to get past it. And if they do happen to dodge past it, you can always cover with jab, or you can cover, or you can dodge out, and things like that. So that'll do it for Jack's neutral special. Not neutral special, that was down special. They'll do it for Jack's grounded down special. Let's talk about his aerial down special. That aerial down special also goes crazy. The aerial down special is kind of like a helm breaker slash. It has pretty good knockback. This move has really, really good range also. And the focus version of this movie, if you do it and land into the ground, it shoots out a blade beam that pops opponents upwards, kind of like that. So that's a very cool thing about it. You'll basically be using this move to like cover jumps and cover people above you. Uh, especially if they're trying to go high because this move hits really hard covers a lot of range above jack it's a very good like ko move it's very good to use on opponents on the ground because it covers up under you the hitbox is also up under you the knockback is really crazy it's a very very good move also very good to chase with because you can throw it at opponents off stage and if you miss it, you can cover them with side special because this move covers a high. Like, as you can see, like, how, how far it hits down, this move is really crazy, especially against tall opponents and edge guarding opponents with it because the knockback on it is really, really nuts. This move hits extremely hard. Definitely recommend getting used to using this move because it also sets up for some pretty, like, early KO options and, like, even at lower percentages. If you happen to like get focus meter and your opponent comes back at like a low percentage or something like that, or you happen to have focus meter, remember you can always shoot the blade beam. The blade beam pops up and at higher percentages, it even knocks away. So that'll do it for Samurai Jack's down attack. Like I say, you'll be using this move a lot to get KOs. Like I say, very crazy range. Hits really, really hard. All around a very, very good move. And just remember when you have focus, and when you have focus, if you do it an inch off the ground, you get a blade beam that pops up for confirms. So, that'll do it for Samurai Jack's down special. Let's talk about his up special. So, Samurai Jack's up special is the kicks. This kick hits extremely hard. As you can see, like, the knockback is pretty, pretty nuts on it. Especially when you have, like, focus. Uh, but the main part is this, is the aerial one. So like the grounded not the grounded not back is more towards the corner. The aerial version is more like directly above you. If I could get it. You know what? Kind of like that. So the aerial version is like kind of like more above you. So that's like another very good thing about this up uh, about this up special is hitting like the aerial version knocks opponents above you so you can hit that really quick up air and get those kills. It also means like if your opponent jumps above you and you read them with this, you're both already at the top of the screen. So it's a very good like jump read move to hit opponents with. Because if they jump with you and you hit them with it, y'all both fly up to the top of the screen and you can get that up there. So it's, it's like I said, it's a very simple kick. But the reward for hitting this move, like when your opponent like tries to like jump above you, is very very good and you're going to fight a lot of opponents that are going to try and jump above samurai jack uh simply because he covers the horizontal so well so that'll do it for like up special like i said it's kind of like on the ground the up special sends more vertical into the corner so you kind of like have to dodge jump to probably get that follow-up as you can see it's pretty close it's pretty strict for the uh grounded version also with focus the kick just hits harder and becomes like a legit kill move in the aerial version the knockback is more straight like more straight up vertical as i get a kill uh the knockback is more straight up vertical can i hit you know what and it puts opponents directly above you kind of like that so that'll do it for jack's up special you talk about up special both versions of down special side special and neutral special so that'll do it for all of jack's like moves uh some beginner combos are like like i said side attack one two into down attack some good kill confirms will come out of like jab into like i said jab into instant air dash command grab 
I like I always recommend like learning how to do this like you're really gonna need to like get this confirmed like down pack because if you do it'll make getting a lot of kills with Samurai Jack a lot easier as you see like I'm I've been practicing since he came out and I still mess up this confirm because I'm not good with my uh, IADs which stands for instant air dash but that'll do it for Samurai Jack gamers hopefully this guy helps you out um if you're kind of like wondering about Samurai Jack or it kind of like answers your questions um if you have anything else uh let me know or if some of you have been playing samurai jack please uh let me know some tips uh because i've been really enjoying samurai jack i just don't feel like he's that good so if you guys find some crazy broken stuff that makes him a lot easier to play against the top tiers and stuff like that please let me know down in the comments or if i missed anything just say hey uh you missed something or you don't know about this but I'll catch you gamers in the next one. Bye.